Hi, I'm Miles from Carp School, and I'm going to show you how to tie the mono rig. Really, really simple, as simple as they come. Okay, this rig is about as simple as it comes. It's the mono rig, or you can tie it in fluorocarbon. We're just going to use a simple knotless knot, and I'm going to show you a little trick of putting some silicon on the hook so that the hair leaves at quite an aggressive angle. Uh, making this this rig turn into the fish's mouth really well. It's a favourite rig of mine, um, and as I said, nice and simple. So we're going to start off with a small loop to create a hair. Just a simple overhand knot to form a nice, neat, small loop. I've got this great little tool here to use on cold days, or if I want the loops to be exactly the same size. So the knots over the short peg, the loop that I want to create is over the long peg. And there you go, you can pull that down nice and tight. Trim that off. Now we need to mount a bait onto this hair so that we can gauge the length of the hair required. Here we're using a 15mm boilie, clearly you can add whatever bait you like. Here goes the bait stop. I'm going to trim that off. Okay. Now I mentioned that I like to add a small piece of silicon onto this rig so that I can adjust where the hair leaves the point of the hook, or sorry, the shank of the hook. And with mono, it couldn't be simpler than just sliding a small piece of silicon sleeve. This stuff's great, it's good and tough, doesn't break and fall off and uh, we'll slide down on the mono nice and easily. We're going to slide that down towards the bait. What I do is fold the hook link over, over my finger and pinch it in there. What that does is pull the hook link to one side of that silicon, allowing me to take a hook and slide it down inside. Make sure you get the hook the right way round, otherwise rig obviously won't work. So I'm going to slide the point down inside the silicon there, like so. Now I like the silicon to sit right about there, so the hair is going to be leaving pretty much in the middle of the bend, perhaps a little bit further up that way, but right around there is absolutely perfect. That's, that's what I found works well, leaving about a centimetre between the silicon and my hook bait, and then the mono will run along the back of the shank of the hook, and we're going to take the other end of the hook link material and push that through the eye, going towards the point to create our knotless knot. Now remember that most hooks have the wire coming along the shank around and pressed in there, and there can sometimes be a little gap there. So remember when you tie a knotless knot that you should always come around the back. And we're gonna do that once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, making sure those barrel rolls don't cross over each other and uh, nice and neat. We can come back over the top of that, oops, one time, and then push it back down through the eye of the hook, going down towards the point again. To, to complete the knotless knot, like so. Pull it down nice and gently. Okay, you can see there the angle that the mono is leaving the eye of the hook. And that's exactly the same kind of angle that you would create with a piece of shrink tube if you were creating the liner liner. And the reason that's so important is it's very difficult for the fish to move away without that hook point being pulled into the bottom lip of the fish each time. And the angle that the hair is coming off as well, they both work in a nice curve there, and as that's trying to come out of the fish's mouth, it's very difficult for the point of the hook not to drag on in. So there you have a really simple rig. Very, very few components. You don't even need a kettle to steam any shrink tube. A piece of silicon, a hook, and some mono the simple mono knotless knot rig.